So we're pulling. Watch the loose. Yeah. We're pulling this stuff off the head. Kitchen in here, evidently. Um, you can see the, the pipes here. The head for a kitchen. See the pipes here. The head for a kitchen. They had all this stuff on everything to keep it from uh, getting whatever. So uh, we're pulling it down, trying to get it out of here. Um, that's what we're doing. And then you can see, obviously, I did that. But ain't no big deal. We can fix all this. This is going to be extremely easy. Ain't got no problems. There's a studio valve everybody tells me not to use. They used it too. So main water shutoff is right there. Washer and dryer is there. So uh, we'll be good here. The, uh, see what, take it. Take it. up we got no mask on but we'll put them on here shortly we're gonna knock all that out and get it all out of there we'll probably use shovels for the rest of that and then we got to go outside and uh clean it up so we'll get it up we'll get all that cleaned up i don't know why they cut a hole in the wall there but basically they cut a two before there um we're gonna restud this whole corner out and i got some tin to put on the outside there but uh we'll figure all that out here shortly but anyway we'll get back to you well that's behind door number one might end up being door number two here that, Behind door number one. Mm -hmm. They put that up thinking that would work. And then they had to go back and re put this stuff up. Guaranteed. Maybe you pistola and total tornillos. Oy. Total tornillos ahí, maybe. Hmm. I didn't nail all that stuff in too, so that ain't gonna be that easy to so. That's exactly what I was thinking. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, me move. And we had our first victim. First victim was me. I stepped and went through. No way, no way, no way. Okay, yeah, we're working on this now. This is the only spot that's not dried in in the house. And you would think by looking at it, oh, that's a window. Wasn't a window. It was a, uh, it was an air conditioning, believe it or not. They built this whole thing just for an air conditioning. So we're trying to find uh, a piece of tin for this thing. But 
That's all I can find. I got two pieces there. That's barely gonna be enough to do what we need to do there. And it's probably not gonna look the best, but we're gonna do what we can do with it. All this, uh, all the beams on the bottom are good. We're gonna pull this one piece of sheetrock and uh, place one more two before we and then we'll, uh, we'll be getting done with it. We're gonna get some insulation and run in there and put some more flour up. But that's what we're getting into. That beam's nice and hard. It ain't even started to rot or anything. It ain't even changed colors. And that's all because of the air conditioning. The uh, that unit wasn't even in there. So it was just an open hole for the element to come inside. Okay, y'all, at the end of the day, we got that buttoned up. We got every build in here all the way up. We've got all this tore off the walls. Got all that tore off, that tore off. And that's what we've got done today, so. Okay, y'all, what we're doing, we're coming in here and we're gonna cut from this uh, full sheet out, basically, is what we're doing here. We're gonna cut it all the way up to that wall, down the wall, and over here, so we can pull that full sheet. Well, it's not a full sheet, it's gonna be a half sheet, but we're starting out here at the end, cutting about 30 inches or so, and we're cutting it all the way through. So, we used a two by four over here, where they use a one by, but what happened was there was three quarter inch uh, piece of particle board underneath that. So you got three quarter plus three quarter equals inch and a half. That's why we use that. And we we framed it out with that. And so we got it framed out here. The edge of the uh, the edge of the tin is there. And we just put that that uh, slick stuff on there to keep it from uh, keep it from doing that. You need your to cut a ya and a key. Because it goes a vaho. All right. I, basically, I told him that he needs his uh, his little isolator tool to cut down that wall and down this edge here to get it up. So, anyway, that's how we're going to replace it. And a lot of people say don't do that because that uh, it makes it where uh, it's prone to crack here. But we did it in the other one. We ain't had no problems out of it. And uh, that's how we're gonna do it in this one too. So we'll see what happens, but we'll let you know later. There you go, y'all. Clean it out, get it all clean, get it done. The, uh, so we got all that cleaned out of there. So all that's clean. Now we got to, uh, put our stub boards in basically go all the way around it putting uh, two befores up around the edge so if you step here it won't collapse on you and uh it'll make if you don't do that this this board here will bow and it will get spongy in there so you got to do that all the way down these have got a little staining to them but they're solid so there's no problem with them were, uh, you can see where the insulation was wet. We pulled out of there, so we pulled all that stuff out to get it to get this stuff to dry out where it won't uh, 
Won't mild and mold mild and mild. I can't say it. Mild and mildew. Get all that stuff out of there. Just get it out and it don't become an issue. We'll rake that back out. The good stuff we'll rake it back out when we get this these lines in and get our plywood ready. But there's not uh, not gonna be much in here. We'll get it knocked out here shortly. And this is trash that the manufacturer left in there. We'll get up underneath it and tape all these spots where it's been cut. We'll tape all the spots off to keep the wind from blowing up underneath it. And it makes it a lot more energy efficient. So basically you just you get it cut out, get it cut tight and put it in there. And that's what we're doing. Here. cheaper and easier to pull this drywall because of this glue that's on it. There's no good way to get that glue off. Drywall here cost us uh, about nine, ten dollars per sheet. So for this wall you're looking at uh, four sheets. Thirty six bucks. I can't clean it for that or not clean it, but sand it all off and repaint it and make it look worth the damn. So we'll just pull it off and uh, put new sheetrock up. So that's what we're gonna do in this room. We're gonna pull it all off. So I got them tearing it off. Let me fix the spot in the floor. So they're tearing it all off. And we're also, we've got to check the wiring. The wiring is, uh, they added a bunch of stuff in here because this was the kitchen. So we need to figure all that out and uh, get it out of here at the same time. So we'll get it all fixed up here. So we're pulling all this off. They glue it on the wall. So we've got to take that isolator and basically unglue it. So that's what we're fighting now. And uh, we're pulling all of it back. Make sure we can see everything in here. Make sure everything's right when we do it. Okay, y'all, we're uh, pulling this ceiling down. 
and it looks like they did a pretty good job on it where it ain't tore up that bad. Um, evidently, they just had to make a flat spot for the kitchen. I mean, it's the only logical explanation I got. Um, huh. Don't know. But. That's all I can come up with, but it looks good. It's coming right down, man. We'll just take it apart, piece by piece, take it right out of there, and uh, we'll be good to go. Okay, y'all. Here we go. We're we're halfway in here. We've got uh, we got half of this ceiling down. So that's what it's gonna look like. There's no there's no damage in it. So we're just pulling it down real easy. It's kind of a pain because these nails are in too good. We're trying not to tear nothing up, but we're getting a little bit of of uh, damage there. I guess you would call it. But we're working on we're getting it slow and easy is the way to do it. So just want y'all to see the, the uh the update. It's gonna look good when it uh, comes down here. Let me get out from this above him here, kill me. He won't kill me literally, but he's hitting I don't want to fall and hit me in the head. So Bust that end, trying to get them nails out with a claw. Try not to tear the roof up, or not the roof, but the ceiling. So the roof ain't got nothing to do with it. Slowly but surely. Okay, y'all. Should hit the fan back here. But we got it all pulled out. We didn't. My guys got it all pulled out. Put it that way. They got it all pulled out. We're going to get around here where you can see this side of it. It's all back to the regular ceiling again. I don't know why they did it like this. Don't make no sense to me, but uh, I guess the only logical reason to do what they done in here, like I say, this was a convenience store. This was the kitchen. Um, they cook you hot dogs, hamburgers, whatever. And I guess they need a flat roof or flat ceiling for to pass inspection would be the only logical explanation. Um, so, the only thing I got for it. I don't know any other reason why. So, it's what it looks like. We got to obviously add these little pieces in. Um, there's a couple there that goes in here and going down this edge and right here above me. Um, and right there, we got to add on there. And add on over there kind of trim that out there with it but that won't be no problem then the ceiling will be done patch a few little spots over there a few spots there and we'll be done um well you know we got to put a couple pieces over there that ain't nothing a couple pieces over here that ain't nothing um the butt our patch in the floor turned out good the floor's patched 
We're cleaning up two befores here. Get them in case we need them. We will need them, but you know, six and sixteen foot long two befores. Nowadays, hell, them thirty five dollars. Ain't quite that bad. They're uh, sixteen foot long two befores. They're twenty five dollars. So got that done. We're still waiting on a piece of siding to come in for that. We're gonna. Uh, keep getting it here and uh if y'all like what you see subscribe to the channel give us a thumbs up for filming it and uh we're gonna catch you on the next one this is all the demo on this job on this room here so when we get ready to demo another room we'll get back with you but give us a thumbs up for filming it and we'll catch you on the next one thanks